Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 38 of Darwell20's Let's Play Stoneblock 3 series, uh, where today I'm getting ready to automate the Blood Altar. Uh, was going to do some of this automation off camera, but decided I wanted to do it on camera just because it's laser I own. I enjoy this mod because it's mine. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys what I had come up with for it, and then uh, I'll do some parts off camera. Definitely, for sure, don't worry. Um, but some parts on just because, yeah, I don't I don't want to do everything off camera. And then it wouldn't be a Let's Play series, really, would it? So what I want to do is I want to sense how much blood is in this altar before we allow any automations to occur. But I also want to limit inserting items into the altar if we, you know, don't uh, have too much stuff. So let's set that all up right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a sensor card in there uh, with a filter. And we should probably be ready for both kinds of filters here. So let's get um, life essence, I think what it's called. Yeah, the life essence bucket. Uh, and then you're going to emit, that's right, this pack has something that's overriding control and shift click at a time. So let's make sure that for now we have, well, five buckets ought to be good. And then you emit on the white channel. So you have more than five buckets, so you're good, right? Um, so... Yeah, that's what we want, right? So if you have more than five buckets, emit on the white channel. And that will allow you to extract uh, from here, right? So you're going to be extracting, and I set this up for just stone, right? Uh, so stone's gonna be allowed to be extracted. Um, and again, we'll speed upgrade these guys. So you're gonna be speed upgraded. You only want to extract one item at a time, but you want to do it every tick. And this should also be uh, every tick. That should be definitely a thing. And then, um, so you'll extract from there, and then you're going to insert on here. But before we allow you to extract, we want to make sure that redstone signal high on white. So as long as we have enough of this stuff, we can do that. Cool. And, uh, but I want this to not run just yet, so I'm just going to stick that in there. You're going to insert on white, but you're going to have a filter of just one stone. So one stone can be filtered on the insert there. That will only allow one in at a time. You're going to extract on orange, but you're going to deny stone with a basic filter, right? So you're not allowed to pull stone out of there. You can pull anything else though, that's fine. At least for now. And then you'll insert on orange, but you're gonna have a counting filter. And what you're gonna have is slates from Blood Magic, right? So we'll do that and we'll get those slates going. So where are they? There they are. Blank, reinforced, imbued, demonic, ethereal and let's make them all for now i'm probably gonna let's make them all 128 Does that sound cool okay that's uh that should be cool okay um so what should happen is he should do that now what i wouldn't mind is turning off the extract if this guy has um yeah if he has his fullness, but me, we'll see. We'll see. For now, let's just get this bar going. So I'm gonna put this back and that should be working now, right? Up until the point that we don't have five buckets in there. And as soon as we're less than five buckets, we stop inserting stone. And then once we have five buckets back, the stone goes back in. That works, right? I like that. That's pretty fast. I'm cool. Now, what if we set up in Muffler World? We have a new radius of, let's say, five. We're going to mute um, heal sound. And we will also do player hurt. All right. And then we'll do. 
will just mute all of Project E's charge and uncharge. And then also Blood Magic. What do you think that sound is? Uh, it might be fire of some kind. Is that the fire extinguishing sound? It might be. Not bad. I thought I muted Project E, though. Yeah, I'll have to figure it out. Let me play around with the sounds. I'll figure out what they are and come back and tell you. So Fire Extinguish is that one. I think I figured it out. Hold on. Yeah, no, that's weird. I have heal set to zero. I wonder if the generic heal is overriding. That's why. That's why. Uh, I had heal. Yeah, that's why. Okay. So even though I'm muting it here, uh, with with without the selection, uh, it was overriding it. So I bet if I turned this off, that would work. But then if I did it over here, it's just loud now. Not the end of the world. I'll have to decide which one I prefer. But that's why that was that was doing that. Okay, that's fair. I'll just mute you all around, and then we'll be good. Sweet! That makes my life very easy. It's very creepy having no sound here, though, like, at all. I'm doing this off camera, but, like, it's very creepy not having any sound at all for this. All right, so now let's do that other thing that I wanted to do, which was going to be, let's use a logic. I don't think I've done it this way before, but basically let's make it so that uh, I'm going to sense when we have slates. For now, I'm just going to make it 128. I'm going to have you emit on the black channel. And I'm actually going to have you be the red channel. Okay, so red for we have enough blood, black for we have enough slates. Okay, and for now, I'm obviously only doing 128 of these because we don't have the other tiers yet. So we want this to work. What I'm going to say is uh, let's bind you and you can bind to these guys. Okay. So now you're going to emit a signal on black, right? So that's, we have enough slates. And then you're going to uh, emit a signal on red, which is we have enough blood, okay? Then what we're gonna say is if both of these are on, then we want to turn this on, right? So right now, if I remove this, actually we want this to be off, right? When it's off, it needs it. When it's on, it's satisfied, right? So we want this one to be off. Okay, so this has to be off. So black has to be off and red has to be on. So black has to be off and red has to be on. So that would be this one to emit a redstone signal. And all other instances will be off. And you're going to input on the white card. So you're not currently emitting a redstone signal because you have enough dudes in there. Now, if I were to do this, he would be emitting a redstone signal because we don't have enough things. And that should have put a stone in there. OK. Now, he probably didn't update fast enough. So what I should have is, yeah, you probably didn't update fast enough. Yeah, that's the problem, is it didn't update fast enough. So did I put enough sensors in you? Yeah, you run every tick. 
you're running every tick. I might slow that one down. Um, I don't think I have to give you any speed upgrades, right? You don't you don't need speed upgrades, you're just instant. Yeah. It's the sensors that need them, but the sensors already have them. So I might slow this down to like every three ticks. Let's see how that goes, right? So if I pull one out of here, he'll go. And the question is, will he insert a new one? Hopefully not. He did still. Interesting. So well, let me try this just for giggles. But if we made you a sensor and we sensed stone or any kind of slate. And we had you emit on black. What I'm thinking is maybe, and then I'm going to set you back to one. I had you set to five, which worked, but I think that means it's only going to work like, you know, or it's going to work four out of five times, right? So if I take the slate out of here uh, and make sure that you're in or mode. So shouldn't you be sensing that there's a thing? Yeah, why did you do that? Because shouldn't you be sensing item card channel 15? Oh, your speed should be up. But still, that shouldn't matter. So if I do that, and then we do this, All right, you're off because. No, oh, you're on now. You should be off. Are you emitting on black? You're not. Now you are. Am I crazy here? Because you're in or mode, right? So that should be working. Weird. He should be turning off now because, yeah. Now I'm super confused. Oh, red's low. Right, that makes sense. Let me play. I figured it out. I needed I needed overclockers in there. I needed node overclockers in there. That's my mistake. Dun dun dun. Dire please. So now. That should trigger that being on. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's behaving now. That's definitely behaving now. Cool. Okay. So now you should be behaving. So let's see if that works. Uh, so you're going to go back in there. And then in theory, what should happen is you should not be allowed to insert, even though you're not satisfied, but you're not allowed to insert because there's something in here. Right? Right? Eh, it triggered. Oh, right, because I need this to also recognize slates. Okay. So now, if I do that, hopefully he'll stop. I'm trying to do this a slightly different way than I've done it in the past, obviously. Ah, okay, so that seems like it worked, right? Yeah. That seems like it worked, right? I'm going to test it a few more times just to make sure, but I feel like we're better here. So I do that. He inserts a thing. He gets to craft in. And I'm going to test it tech accelerated next. But in theory, that should be cool. Yeah, that works, right? Yeah, I don't think I've done it this way before, and I feel like this is working. So this is cool. This is cool. So this way we'll always keep this thing empty, right? And what we can do is then use this to get the orb in there at some point in the future. We'll, we'll do some kind of sense to be like, uh, should we do the orb? And then be like, yeah, we should do the orb. Orb goes in. Cool.
All right. Uh, so for now, let me go ahead and take these slates to make runes, right? So we're going to want some blank runes. From Blood Magic. Am I crazy? There they are. So we're going to want you guys in there, and we're going to want you guys in there. And that'll give me 20 of those to start with. And then what I can do is get ready to start exchanging. So technically, you shouldn't be a rune. Look how fast, because because what's funny about this, or at least it's funny for me, because it's tile entities that do the rendering for me, the rendering changes a lot faster because my watch is on. But yeah, the like the that's technically a tile entity. What I do for those blocks is when you replace or exchange a block. It puts another block there immediately that does the rendering, and then it when it's done rendering, it puts the real block there. That's why if you look closely, it says it's a render block. See, unused effect block on the top? Cool, right? So, but it's a tile entity, and that's, you know, funny. I probably want you to be regular still, though. Okay, so now you're good to go, and you should be a tier two alder, right? Excellent. So now you can get slate tier twos added here, and that uh, should cause, and it should be an and, right? There we go. That's cool, right? And then if I get this going, he'll start making slate tier twos until we run out of this stuff. We'll hope this is fast enough. And if it's not, oh well. So back in a minute when this is done. Now, if I remember correctly, these need to be glowstones on the top of these. And then how are we doing for runes? We're doing okay-ish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snag some of these and I'm going to turn them into, I'm actually going to snag some of these, get some blank runes. That'll be cool. Look how fast this is going already. Uh, rune of self-sacrifice. That's that's the one I want, right? Uh, so we're going to want a tier two orb. So let's, um, what I could do is add a lever to disable the um, auto crafting bit. That might not be a bad idea. So let's say um, if I put a lever here, it should just immediately turn off that signal, right? Uh, assuming that we have, am I low enough here? So this should fill up. Oh no, the signal turned on. Why is that the case? There we go. Now it's off. Now it's off, right? Even though we have enough LP. Because the logic states, um, what our current state is, is B is on. So A is on and B is on and C is off. So the signal should be off. We're in this state right now, right? So that's your auto, that's your manual shut off, which I could move up here if I needed to. Uh, it's an emerald that goes in there, right? Is that what the... Am I remembering that correctly? Or is it something else? Uh, orb. What's the tier two orb? The, oh, it's a redstone block. My bad. Okay. And then that can be used for self-sacrifice runes. And how many do I need? 20-ish? And I'm going to go ahead and, and make a majority of them. Look, we have four weak blood orbs, too. How do we get four weak blood orbs? Something happened where I got 4x weak blood orbs and 4x divination sigils, and I have no idea what that was. It's a little crazy, right? So now if I do this, you'll start crafting again. And that'll get me up to the 128 that I need. Cool. 
Uh, so I'm going to start with, let's do, I wish I had gotten, and then some runes. And we do have runes of sacrifice and displacement. That's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll turn these into runes of sacrifice eventually because I'm only doing self-sacrifice to get up and running. There we go. So now we should be... I'm going to put you here so I can put you here. Is that cool? Tier 3? What's wrong with Tier 3? Why you know Tier 3? Uh, did I miss a rune somewhere? Uh, I totally did. Now you're Tier 3? Now you're Tier 3. Nice. And then you should be getting a lot more LP for the self-sacrificing, which will keep that thing running a lot faster. So I'll be back in a minute once I get enough stuff to get to the next level. All right, I think we just hit, yep, 64. I changed the numbers to 64 here so that we could uh, get through this a little bit faster for me. Uh, so everything's 64 now. So now I want imbued slates to be in here in this list, right? So we'll put that there at 64, and now he should start crafting those. But before we do that, we should change our level here to be um, more than, we should make it eight, because I'm pretty sure, we'll make it nine actually, because I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, imbued slates are five plus two plus one is eight. So we want to make sure that we have enough LP before we insert the stone. All right, so I think what we've got now is we've got that guy set up. Uh, with 30,000 LP, because I made some runes of capacity. Uh, and then I've got a row back here of just blank runes, but that's all right. We'll get good ones going eventually. Uh, I should be able to now get my tier 3 orb, if I'm not mistaken. Huzzah. Nice. Magician's Blood Orb. Good to go. Uh, so that should work out pretty well. Now we want to get going with the tier 4 stuff, which is I have to go into those dungeons, right? Is that how we get... Uh, blood shards because in order to get let's remind ourselves weak blood shards come from saturated tau saturated tau can be found in simple dungeons so we have to do a ritual so we're gonna have to do some ritual stones and a few other things like that so let me get um set up here what i'll do is prop because we want to get to tier four so we can make the auto harming ritual so we can automate this altar without self-sacrifice but go sacrifice runes right so what I'll do is I uh, I may have enough to get the runes going now. Let's maybe see. Um, yeah, maybe I should check that real quick. I might have I might have a sufficient amount of resources right now. So in order to do this, we're going to need the reinforced slates, right? Because what we want is if we get the book and we do the antechamber. Let's see. Uh, the edge of the hidden realm is the ritual we want to do, and then we go in there, and then we'll get our saturated towels, right? Pretty sure that's right. So this is the ritual we're going to want to do. So we're going to want a total of 36 runes plus uh, 80,000 LP with a weak activation crystal. So, uh, and then runes, or ritual things... So blank ritual stones is one to one with a tier two. So we should be good because we've got 64 of those guys. So we need 40-ish. Uh, so all we have to do is get regular ritual stones. Put that in there. Put this here. We'll get 40. And then we can get a master ritual stone with our orb. And that'll get us what we need for that. And then we need the ritual diviner which is going to be these guys which is going to be magma cream gas tier obsidian and lapis okay so let's see what can i put away right now i don't need these guys in my inventory i don't need you guys at the moment 
I don't need this. And that should be clean enough. All right, so magma, ghast, obsidian, lapis. Oh, I love, I love, I love that speed upgrade thing. Okay. And then uh, the ritual we wanted that we said, um, I don't think the direction actually matters. Uh, the ritual that we said we wanted was the edge of the hidden realm. There we go. And that can chill probably, look at all this junk. Bees, please. Edge of the hidden realm will probably just doesn't super matter where it goes, right? Do I want to clear out more space back here, maybe, with my destruction gadget real quick? Might not be a bad idea, just to have a little bit more room within which to operate. And that would be cool. This is how I made, your, made the uh, area originally, obviously. Nice. Now we can throw down our master ritual stone. I'll stick it in this-ish area here, maybe-ish. I'm just spitballing. And that looks good to me. And then I just need my weak activation crystal, right? Looks good. All right, so reminder, weak activation crystal uh, is just going to be a lava crystal uh, in the thing. So lava crystal will need... We're good. And then you do that. And then we want to bind it to ourselves. And then we want to see how much LP I have. 500. How much LP do I need? 80,000. So what we do is we get our orb... Apprentice? No. Magicians? Yes. That goes here. And then I do this for a while, right? And that'll get me pretty close to 80,000. It'll take a minute, so I'll be right back. All right, I think I've got enough for the time being. So let's see if I'm right. Yep, that looks cool to me. All right, so now what we want is the saturated towels, right? So let's take this and let's go in here. And I think all we have to do uh, is bring some iron keys and maybe a quickie feral flare wouldn't be a terrible idea. Because remember, we have access to our AE system wherever we are, including other dimensions. Uh, so that got me that. Uh, I also found uh, some other junk that I don't necessarily need. So then we can use one of these keys to get in here. Right. We'll light up the area so that these mob spawners don't bug us too much. That should be cool. Here's some Tau fruit, right? Is this the one I can plant? I, I forget. And then a few other things. I'm not going to worry too much. Really, all I care about is the Tau fruit at the moment. Uh, yeah, nothing here do I care about. I'm just curious what that is. Fire protection. Okay, cool. And then there's a chest here with some Tau fruit in it and some Demon Well. Neat. But this is what I can plant, right? Um, can be farmed on farmland. And that's the one where you want to, like, sacrifice an animal or something and it'll turn into saturated Tau fruit. So I think we've got what we came for. I think. So what I'll do is I will pop home now. And then we have three other chambers to investigate if we need. And then we want to throw down an entity in a farm. So I think I've got a farm somewhere. Hello, animals. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's get a mob imprisonment tool. Now, I wonder if witches work. Can it be witches or does it have to be... So if we got a bucket of water... And then we made farmland with a hoe.
right? And then we had fences. Hey, these aren't fences. At least not the fences that I meant to get. Do I not have any regular fences? My bad. Okay. Okay. And then we got some saturated tau fruit. Now, can I just put my witch there, you think? No, that's not exactly what I wanted to see happen. And now what I'm thinking, is there a witch, the thing that won't let witches see me in this pack? I don't think so. That would have been cool, because if the witch couldn't see me, that would make this a lot easier. Um... But what I'll do now, then... What? What the what? Where did she... Did she die? No, she's still... Oh! What the what? I didn't even realize that was there. I didn't even notice it. That is hilarious that I didn't even notice that existed. Okay. So we'll stick some... Tau fruit around. And uh, what I probably wouldn't mind doing, I, I assume that this will not, um, that quickly saturated those things. But uh, what is it from Project E that grows the crops? Do I have one of those? Did I make one of those? Uh, it's the Harvest Goddess Band, right? I can make that. I can make a Harvest Goddess Band. And then what do I want to do? I want to have the witch in there. I guess it's working. I got some saturated tau, so that works. I might want it to just be... Uh... Oh boy, I'm harvesting all these things now. What I might do is just make it a one block space. So what I could have is the fence here and here with this here and then the witch. Like that. And if I did this. Hmm. I would have thought that would have worked. Let me turn it off so it doesn't uh, auto thingy. It's definitely hurting the witch. I'm not getting the sat. I got one saturated towel, which is probably enough to get me going. I'm just curious why it's not working. I'd have to double check on exactly what the rules are for whatever. I guess what I could do instead is have the cow here and see how that goes. Still no saturated towel. What did I do wrong? Oh, does it have to kill the cow? It may have to kill the... Yeah, I think it has to kill. Yeah. So I think it has to kill the, the creature. You think that's it? Is it kill? Maybe. I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Wow, you do weird things, don't you? Yeah, it might just it might have to kill them. I don't know. I'll have to look. Anyway, uh, I've got my saturated towel, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time because I think the four that I have is sufficient. If I need more, I'll get more. Uh, for now, though, wrapping up point. Daryl twenty sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.